Hey guys, and welcome back to Lex Crochet. Today, I'm going to be doing something that I saw a request for. Um, I saw this a few times on my list, and what this is, is a chevron steering wheel cover. I recently purchased a new-to-me car, um, so this is a great way to commemorate my new car. So we're going to need a G size hook, scissors, a needle, your secondary color, and your first color. So we're going to start with a slip knot. So we're going to chain 20. And you want to make sure it's as straight as possible. So now we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. I'm going to skip one chain and I'm going to single crochet in the next three. I'm going to single crochet three times in the next stitch. I'm going to single crochet in the next three. This is the sh first chevron piece I've ever done. So I'm kind of excited about this. Okay, so skipping this next chain, single crochet in the next three. And I apologize for my camera going in and out of focus. Um, I'm, wor I'm working on getting that taken care of. crochet in this stitch three times and then we will single crochet three more times in the next three stitches We're going to skip the next one and then single crochet in the last. We're going to chain one and turn. And basically we're going to re repeat this pattern up. We're going to single crochet in the first stitch, skip the next one, and then single crochet in the next three going upwards.
at the top of the peak, we're going to single crochet three times into that stitch. And then single crochet once in each of the next three stitches. Here, we're gonna skip the next two and then single crochet in the following three stitches. At the top of the peak, once again, single crochet three times into that stitch. This pattern is just going to repeat itself over and over again. So we're going to do three in the next three stitches. We're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in the last. You'll chain one and you'll go on to the next row. So I'm about to finish the end of my sixth row and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually join my color this way. I fin finish off the single crochet and then as I chain, I'm going to grab my secondary yarn and I'm just going to do that chain one with that and I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight. Yes, I will always make sure I have a nice tail to weave in. Never make sure, or always make sure that you never leave something too short. So now I'm going to tighten it up one more time. And we're going to continue on that pattern. So here I am at the end of the pattern. I know this kind of jumped, but it it repeats itself so much that there's no point the whole thing repeats so what I'm gonna do is I'm putting the opposite ends together and I am sewing them or weaving them together this is the way I did it um, you could always take a tapestry needle and physically sew it in yourself Sorry, I'm having problems with my yarn here. So after I connect the two sides, I'm going to add my first color and I am going to start single crocheting in each of the spots around and I'm going to do this for two rows and I'm going to do it on both sides. So both sides have a nice border. Very simple. So 
So this is the final product. You see the, both the borders and um, here comes a picture of it in the car. I loved how this project turned out and if you have any questions, leave them down to below. Always leave your requests.